Hey, hey, welcome to arthritis. Start feeling better in 90 days or less. Feels like that need jazz, needs jazz hands. <laughs> so um, I'll give a little bit for everybody. Come on, this is Wellness Wednesday, but Wednesday is a holiday and I'm going to a barbecue, so we're doing it on Tuesday. But let's talk about arthritis. I get asked a lot about how can I fix or what essential oils can I use for um, arthritis and all of these things. Um, and so I want to talk to you a little bit about arthritis, um, what it is, what the cause is, what the cure is. Um, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it. The full episode, assuming I get it done today, um, edited and back from the editing people today will be released tomorrow, maybe this afternoon. Um, and it'll go into a lot more detail than I can uh, in this format. If you're new here or if you're stopping by to watch, please pop in and say hello. Send me lots of hearts. If you share this into your newsfeed, even if you make it um, hidden, not private, it'll live in your video library forever. And that way you don't have to search through um, 52 videos a year to find the one that you were looking for on my page. Um, I'm going to refer to my notes, which are on the same screen. So if you see me looking everywhere, that's a little bit about what that's about because I don't want to miss anything that I want to tell you. So first I'll start with a statistic. Over 40 million Americans, right, spend a total of $305 billion a year, billion with a B, a B, on arthritis treatment every single year. Over 40 million Americans take anti-inflammatories every single day, every single day. That's crazy. Absolutely insane. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the real cause of arthritis um, because you probably think, okay, so what causes arthritis? Well, old age, joint wear and tear, um, cartilage, you know, roughing up, but at the root cause, because remember that's, that's what we do. We tackle wellness issues from the root cause. We heal from the inside out and the roots up so that we're actually healing things and not just masking things, putting a bandaid over the symptoms. Um, so the real cause for arthritis um, is malnutrition. And so that malnutrition leads to inflammation. Um, and then sometimes, depending on if you have osteo or rheumatoid, it is malnutrition, inflammation, and then some sort of underlying joint infection. But that's a very small part of the problem. Um, and you can even look at it from an energetic standpoint. So before the malnutrition, or in combination with the malnutrition, a lot of times um, this is set off in your energetic field by um, feelings of being betrayed by the universe, by source, by God, you know, insert whatever your preferred term is for that there. But you feel betrayed by the universe and that kicks it off. A lot of times, um, you know, that that's part of the reason why we see arthritis in people of all ages, right? Um, so you wouldn't think those were the causes, malnutrition, inflammation, sometimes an underlying joint infection. <laughs> if you flip through any magazine, if you visit an orthopedic office, if you watched an hour or so of primetime TV, you would think that um, anti-inflammatories and surgery were the answer, the fix to your arthritis problem. But the, the real truth behind that is that anti-inflammatory medications stop your body from healing itself. Um, and both the, the medical options, the medicine options, and the surgical options are really, really full of side effects. And as you know, they're not really side effects, they are the effects, right? They're, they're, they're other effects that go with the effect of masking the symptoms. Um, so again, the cause of arthritis at its very, very root, what we have to tackle in order to fix it is the malnutrition. So we're not getting the nutrients we need to produce the, um, the, the coverings for our joints to have healthy, strong bones to keep the inflammation down. We're actually doing the opposite of that. And so I get, you've probably heard me say before that inflammation is a big part or important part of the healing process. And it is, but, and so, you know, if you put that together with, um, you know, so arthritis is inflammation, malnutrition causes inflammation. Why isn't my body just hurting itself and healing itself in this one big cycle? And that's because there's actually two different kinds of inflammation. There's the inflammation that happens when there's an injury right, or a surgery, um, and that inflammation helps kickstart the healing process. And then there's the other kind of inflammation that comes from the 90% of stuff that you put in and on and around your body that is inflammatory. So your body's just inundated with that inflammatory um, stuff, and it causes all of these prostaglandins and different things to act in an inflammatory way and lead to swelling, pain, joint damage, all of that stuff. 
So it's pretty simple. Under certain conditions, inflammation is really, really healing. But on, under most conditions, inflammation that is caused by the inundation of inflammatory foods and things in our environment, um, those types of inflammation cause chronic pain, cause chronic inflammation, which leads to all of these negative um, health effects. So the big question is, what do we do about it? And it's really, really simple. And people say, oh, this is the hardest part. Um, but really, it's a simple choice, right? So if the first thing to do is to stop the diet of inflammation. For most people, we're just consuming a relentless onslaught of inflammatory foods. We're just cramming them in, foods and non-foods. So that includes supplements as well. So if you're taking really crappy supplements, that's probably adding to your inflammation. Um, our entire food supply almost is, well, really most of our entire food supply is processed. And so way back in the day, most humans diets were fairly balanced. So we ate a lot of fresh vegetables. We ate a little bit of fruit. We ate fresh meats. We ate seeds and nuts, maybe even some raw dairy, um, eggs and healthy fats like flax and coconut oil and virgin first pressed olive oil and all of these things. Now, yes, people, you know, way back in the day, they used to eat a little bit of wheat, a little bit of processed oil. Um, it was hard to process oil back then. Some fried foods and some sugars, but by and large, the bulk of the diet was were consisted of these anti-inflammatory foods. Now it's reversed, right? Um, about 90% of what people put in their mouths are um, adding to states of pain and inflammation, adding to joint pain and arthritis. So you have to stop the diet of inflammatory foods in order to heal. And if you stop that diet of inflammatory foods today, within 90 days, it's about 80% of people are getting off their medications. They're beginning to wean off their medications because they're feeling that good. They can move again in that 90 days. The other thing you have to do is cut your carbs. Um, so prior to having every morsel of food that we ate being super processed, um, we we ate a, a balance of good fats and balanced carbs. So a vegetable, for example, is a balanced carb. Today, most, most arthritis sufferers I come across um, consume almost 150 grams of carbohydrates per meal, right? That's more than you should have in one whole day. So if you're wondering if, you know, if you have arthritis or the beginning signs of arthritis and you're wondering like, do I fall into that category? Just take breakfast, for example. What'd you eat for breakfast? If you had a bagel, OJ, maybe some jelly on your bagel, maybe cream cheese, but maybe some jelly, um, and then like half an orange, then you were probably at 150 carbs easy for your breakfast, maybe even more than that. So think about that. You know, that's very, very easy to stop. Have some eggs instead, right? Um, so the first thing again is stop the diet of inflammation, cut the carbs, which really could kind of go under number one. Um, Tweak that diet so it's just right for you. And so this is why I recommend things like food sensitivity testing and mineral testing, because it can give you that piece of paper that you need that says, you know, I really shouldn't have this. Because most people do fine just cutting out the inflammatory foods, yes. But there are a few cases where you could do a little bit better and it's as simple as just giving up one thing, right? One thing you shouldn't have anymore. Um, so I always say the third thing is to go in and tweak exactly what's right for you. The fourth thing is supplements. Anytime we do a big dietary switch, you want to make sure that you're supplementing your body with the nutrients that you need because there is a big change happening. So sometimes you can get some negative side effects if you don't do that. Now, those supplements are going to be different for everybody. And quite frankly, the joint supplements that are on the market now, they're hundreds, maybe even thousands of them. Most of them are garbage. All of them are overpriced. So the best products, the ones you're looking for to help with your joints are those made of raw food, bones with the marrow, and organic minerals. Those are gonna be the most effective. Those are the kind that your body knows how to absorb and put to use properly in your body. Um, and again, those supplements are gonna be a little bit different for everyone. Um, so that's a place that I definitely recommend the hair, food sensitivity, and mineral testing so that we know exactly what supplements um, work for you. We can see exactly where the nutrition is off. The simple, simple fact is that if you do nothing else but eliminate the bad stuff and add in the good stuff, within 90 days, you will probably feel 50 to 60% better. 
Um, and then usually what happens is you start feeling a little bit better within that 90 days. You start weaning yourself on medica off the medication. You start adding the exercise in, easy exercise. So easy exercise or gentle exercise like walking, even if it's not walking far. Walking, um, yoga, and a lot of people say, oh, I can't do yoga. Have you seen Instagram? Well, there's chair yoga. So if you are not local to the DFW area, then I highly recommend Dana Falsetti's online studio. She has yoga for every person and every um, access, it's very accessible yoga. So it's accessible to all people, whether you're um, bed bound, chair bound, standing, um, you know, whatever your, your need is, she has a yoga modification for that. If you're local to DFW, then I suggest coming to Pure Synergy and Corinth. They are Dana Falsetti in, in person, right? So in person um, for local peeps. Um, Tara. Ah, Tara, you literally just stopped me from eating pork rinds. Good girl, put the pork rinds down. <laughs> um, occasional pork rinds. And if you buy a quality brand of humanely raised piggies, um, then that's okay. But like your dollar bag of Kroger pork rinds, probably um, highly, highly inflammatory for most people. Um, so if you're looking for like a really simple way to eliminate the good and, um, or eliminate the good, most of us already have, <laughs> yoga is for everybody. Yes, Tara says yoga is for everyone and saved my life. Yes, I will second that. Um, yoga is absolutely for everyone and is life changing. So the easiest way to, <laughs> there's littles and unicorns. The easiest way to give up, uh, to eliminate the good is to give up anything in a package and eat about a quarter of your diet raw, eat low carb, high in protein, high in good, fat, or excuse me, moderate in protein, high in good fats, and supplement with the right nutrients. Um, and again, as you get better, add in the exercise. And um, if you need help, be sure and reach out, add it in the comments, or jump over in the Wellness Tribe, and I will answer any of your questions. I hope everyone has an amazing 4th of July. Don't forget, um, if you want to save this video, share it into your newsfeed. You can mark it hidden uh, if you don't want to share it with your peoples, but share it into your newsfeed and then it'll live in your video vault on Facebook instead of having to search through mine. Everyone have a wonderful Tuesday and we'll be back next week with Wellness Wednesday. And if you'll bear with me, I'll tell you what we're talking about next week. Next week, we are talking about the immune system. So everyone, Tune in to the full episode on Whole Being RN Radio. You can subscribe to that on iTunes, um, and it'll give you all. We'll give go through all this information in more specific detail. And uh, again, happy Fourth, Namaste.